So, now in this particular sum, we need to calculate the number of molecules which are present in 8.8 .8 grams of carbon dioxide. It is a very easy sum, maybe slightly time consuming. Pay attention, let us solve it up together. And to solve this particular sum, the first formula, the correct formula appears onto the screen. What is that? If you need the number of particles in any substance, and what are the particles which are possible? It could be atoms, ions, or molecules. But if you do need the number of particles, we have the formula right over here. It is equal to the number of moles present in that amount of substance multiplied by the Avogadro's number. Now, think about this very, very carefully. If you need to find out the number of particles present in 8.8 .8 grams of carbon dioxide, the first thing that you need to do is you need to calculate the number of moles of carbon dioxide present in 8.8 .8 grams of carbon dioxide. And for doing that, you need the molecular mass of carbon dioxide. So, let us go for this particular sum step by step. Let us begin. Okay. Now, what is given over here? The mass of carbon dioxide is supplied into the sum. What is it? 8.8 .8 grams. Great. No problems at all. As I said, you first need the number of moles and for needing the number of moles, you need the molecular mass of carbon dioxide. Let us begin. To find the molecules in 8.8 .8 grams of carbon dioxide, what are we going to do? We are going to take the molecular mass of carbon dioxide first into consideration. The formula is CO2. Now think, single atom of carbon weighing 12, two atoms of oxygen weighing 16. Let us put this information down. Atomic mass of carbon, whatever it is, multiplied by 1. Then we have atomic mass of oxygen multiplied by 2. The molecular mass of carbon dioxide will be 12 into 1 plus 16 into 2. That is 12 plus 32 and that is going to give me the gross atomic mass of carbon dioxide which is going to give me exactly 44. So, the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is exactly 44. Using that information, I can calculate the number of moles of carbon dioxide. How am I going to do that? Let us have a look. According to the formula which has already been stated, let us state it once again, the number of moles present in carbon dioxide is the mass of carbon dioxide in grams divided by the molecular mass of carbon dioxide. What is the mass of carbon dioxide in grams which is already given into the sum? Perfect, 8.8. .8. What is the molecular mass of carbon dioxide that we just calculated? 44. So, what are we going to do? Let us substitute 8.8 .8 divided by 44 and that gives me 0 0.2 which means 8.8 .8 grams of carbon dioxide contains 0 0.2 moles of carbon dioxide. Great. Now, I know as a matter of fact that once the number of moles have been calculated by us, I can convert it to the number of particles. I can convert it to the number of molecules. How is that so? Let us have a look. I know that one mole of carbon dioxide, one mole of any substance for that matter contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules. Do I have one mole of carbon dioxide? No. I have 0 0.2 moles of carbon dioxide. So, let us substitute that particular value. Therefore, 0 0.2 moles of carbon dioxide contains 0 0.2 into 6.002 into 10 raised to 23. Now, think this 10 raised to 23 you cannot touch. So, the only two numbers that you can multiply are over here 0 0.2 into 6.022. When you multiply them together, what are we going to get? We are going to get 1.2044 into 10 raised to 23 molecules. That is the answer I was expecting. So, let us write it down. So, I can say that 8.8 .8 grams of carbon dioxide contains 1.2044 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of carbon dioxide. That is my final answer. Therefore, I should box it up. That brings me to the end of the first part of the sum. We do have a second part of the sum as well. It is relatively very, very easy and it is going to flow in exactly the same manner. Let us begin. We have 7.1 grams of chlorine. Great. Now, think about this carefully. Chlorine is a diatomic gas. It is not given with the formula Cl. It is given with the formula Cl2. The first thing that I should do is I should calculate the number of moles of chlorine. And for calculating the moles of chlorine, I should take the molecular mass of chlorine. So, what do I do? I have the value over here as mass of chlorine in grams given in the sum divided by the molecular mass of chlorine. Now, think, what is the mass of chlorine given in grams in the sum? 7.1. Molecular mass of chlorine should be calculated. Now, for that, understand that 35.5 is the weight of one atom of chlorine. So, since chlorine is diatomic, I do not have Cl, I have Cl2, I should take this 35.5 and multiply by 2. 35.5 multiplied by 2 is obviously 71. So, what do I have? 7.1 divided by 71 and that gives me a very, very, very easy answer. 0 0.1 moles of chlorine, which means 7.1 grams of chlorine actually has 0 
mole of chlorine. So, the number of moles is something that I know. Great. Number of moles is 0 0.1 moles of chlorine are there in 7.1 grams of chlorine. Now, I know as a matter of fact that if I have 1 mole of chlorine, if I have 1 mole of any substance, it will contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules. It will contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles, right? But I do not have 1 mole of chlorine. I have 0 0.1 moles of chlorine. So, that is the number that I should multiply. It was 0 0.1 moles of chlorine will contain 0 0.1 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules. Do I need to touch this 10 raised to 23? No. These two numbers should be multiplied with respect to each other. One decimal place will obviously shift giving me my final answer. It becomes 0 0.6022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules. That is the answer I was expecting. So, I can say that 7.1 grams of chlorine contains 0 0.6022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of chlorine and that is the correct answer. So, let me box it up for you and that my dear child is how we solve this particularly easy problem henceforth.